there's lots of times in our lives where we lose confidence and for whatever reason. And it must be a time when they come to you and they say, you know, they're going to go to an interview and they need that boost of confidence in order to get the interview. Mm -hmm. So have you seen that? And, and what, what do you advise them? Of course. People lose their confidence in all sorts of stuff. I've lost my confidence at various points in my mm. life. Um, and you often lose it when it's something you really want. Mm. But sometimes it's because external factors. Maybe you've been out of the job market for a while. You come back in having had the children, for example. Yeah. Or maybe you've lost your job. You've been six months out and you're coming back in again. Or yeah. maybe you're young. You didn't get the exam you wanted, but you still have to go for the job interview. So at various times in our lives and for various reasons, we will feel nervous and lose our confidence. And is there one thing that, let's say, all those groups of people can do to bring back the confidence? I mean, is there is there something that you know, they can all dig into. Well, I think there's an authenticity thing, really. It's about owning it. Mm. So you can go in there and pretend that everything's fine. The trouble is, if you do that, you're probably going to overcompensate and try too hard. And if I look back on myself when I was younger, definitely I would have been um, trying too hard. I know. If I, if I could watch a little video of me you know, at age 24 or something, I would be trying too hard, I know. And that's, that, that's like talking too fast. And, talking too fast and over-justifying and, yourself and oh, slightly overselling yourself. Oh, and not finishing the sentence, just exactly. going on and on and on. Exactly, yeah. and actually just bring yeah, it to a I've conclusion. So I would say um, we want to centre ourselves. And mm. one of the simple things you can do is a breath thing, actually. Mm. Now, obviously, with fight or flight, we tend to take little top-up breaths in the top chest, like a little top-up breath there. Mm. Now, when we do that kind of high breath, mm. it's, a, it's it actually increases the feeling of fight or flight right. if we breathe into our belly put your hand below your belly okay let's there, do this yeah. okay and yeah. you breathe in slowly there yeah. it's a calmer it's a calmer feeling because it's lower so but on top of that what we want to do is to breathe out twice as long as we breathe in okay because the out calming breath is much calmer than the breath in so okay so let's try it now we'll breathe in say okay. for three and we'll breathe yeah. out for six okay. okay okay so imagine this so we're going to breathe into the belly right so we breathe in okay and out for six a bit like a yoga breath. I'm still breathing. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> right. right. So we want to this is like a yoga yeah. breath. It is, yeah. So we're, so we're, we're breathing out there. So that's, that helps calm. The other thing I would do is some preparation. Right. Just have a think about what you want them to think about you. What are the values that you admire yeah. in other people, mm -hmm. in yourselves? And if you're clear about the values that you're bringing, I think that's really helpful. Whenever I've hired anybody in my, mm. in my business, I always hire on attitude. Mm -hmm. You can teach skills, mm -hmm. you can't teach attitudes. So I would say if you're going for a job interview, just be really clear about the values that you value. To become a public speaking expert yourself, visit my website, robinkermer.com, and take my online masterclass. Or watch more of my videos here on YouTube. And please do subscribe to my channel.